So how do I enjoy the buffet of life? You know, I don't always go to the buffet and have preset expectations about what I want. That's, that's the rub right there. Be pickier in advance. Be pickier in advance? Someone said the other day, how do I get rid of doubt? And we said, before it comes. <laughs> because once it's there, there's momentum, and it's harder to let go of it. But if you do your preliminary work, and you keep doing your preliminary work, you just cle keep clearing what's coming, and, and mm -hmm. your anticipation gets clear, and things are more fun. So with all of the possibilities in life, just like with the buffet, it's really being clear on what you want going in and setting that expectation. Well, you see, here's the, thing about, here's the thing about your question that we are appreciating so much. You've already been clear about what you want because you've been step one in it and put it into the vortex. Mm -hmm. So there is no confusion about what you want. That clarity exists. What you're looking for, you're wanting to find your own clarity. How about that? How about putting it into that context? You've already defined through life what you want. When someone's rude, you know you don't like that. You prefer people that are n nicer. When, in other words, when you don't have enough of something like money, you know you want more. When you feel boxed in, you want to be out. In other mm -hmm. words, contrast has helped you to define, and those were very general bulky statements, but you've defined incrementally and specifically. And that clarity exists. And source stands right smack dab in the middle of that vibrational reality, knowing your clarity, not just knowing it, being your clarity, not just knowing and being it, but emanating your clarity. And so your work all the time is just to find it. But you have to find the clarity in general terms. This is what we were talking about earlier. If you can find clarity in general terms, law of attraction will bring that general clarity into more specific clarity. And that's what you think you're looking for. In other words, that's that fast moving clarity that has no resistance in it. Do you follow I mean, that? Well, yeah, you know, I guess my concern is you know, if I'm focused on something so intently that I might not be open to other possibilities that could ultimately be well, you'll be, where I want but the to. thing is, it's what we were saying earlier. If you're focused upon the essence of why you want what you want, you're open to every possibility that could satisfy that essence. In other words, when you start doing this vibrational work, that's really one of the great advantages of approaching this in a vibrational way, which means approach it in a, an emotional way, is that once you find anything that gives you that mood or that feeling of high-flying, light-hearted, positive expectation, only things that match those frequencies will come to you. But, but when we say only those things that match those frequencies, frequencies will come to you oh there's a plethora of them you will not be bored and you will not miss anything great thank you everything that you want will come and more than you can currently define so let's put it to you this way let's say that you started out really generally in the morning before any doubt came and you focused generally on feeling good and found it and now momentum is increasing because law of attraction always causes momentum to increase no matter what the content of your vibration is so it's increasing positively and now you're beginning to just feel more light-hearted you're beginning to feel eagerness you don't have one legitimate explanation for why you feel this way you just do you feel light-hearted and you feel eager and because that's the mood that you have allowed to increase momentum now ideas are flowing to you and they are ideas that will support this vibration that you've established and the ideas that will support this vibration that you've established will flow from your vortex where all of those details are and so the endless 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 you'll find yourself just saying you guys are so good You'll find yourself talking to the fairies of the universe, talking to, the, to whoever it is, those unseen thinkers and focusers on, and holders of the vision and holders of the vibration and perpetuators of the energy and knowers of your worthiness and knowers of your value, just focused upon you so precisely and so continuously that when you find, when you create a little openness in your path of least resistance it moves right in that's what those ideas are like you create those opennesses in your paths of least resistance which means you're just in a happy mood with no 
logical reason for it. And then the ideas and the circumstances and the conditions just begin occurring to you, you see. Can you feel the difference? We've got this, we've got this squared away where you're finally understanding what deliberate creation really is. It's not about finding a condition and even using it as a target or a goal to accomplish. It's about accomplishing a state of allowing of, of who you really are to emanate, knowing that law of attraction will get that momentum going. Ooh. So these are the words that, that are helpful for you to hone in on and keep active in your vibration trajectory really good word which just means intentionality intention from non-physical was the trajectory that we were talking about and now you're continuing the trajectory and the contrast is a big player in in expressing that trajectory mm -hmm. and then you sniffing out the trail of that trajectory the word momentum is so important both to the subject of trajectory and to the subject of law of attraction because law of attraction says that which is likened to itself is drawn and that's why momentum becomes more and so whatever you're focused upon law of attraction brings more of it and that's what constitutes the trajectory so when in this moment you establish a contradictory trajectory to the one that you've set into motion and that you've been adding to that's that's already established in your vortex that's when things start feeling squirrely to you you following you're understanding this aren't you so we're eager for you to find ways to put it into more practical terms in other words it's one thing to know about vibration and about law of attraction it's nice to ponder concepts but oh isn't it delicious when you're not just pondering the concepts you're understanding them and you are the receiver of the inspiration because law of attraction is bringing the bigger and bigger momentum to the trajectory that you have set into motion that's when life really feels good that was a mouthful of words and you heard every one of them didn't you you got that you got that <laughs>